going to do number one, be very entertaining. And I ask that you would be respectful during this time period. But more importantly, I want you to listen to things that he's saying and he's going to be sharing because they're very valuable information for all of us, okay? So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Mr. Dwayne Hill. Over the video, I ran it. This time you got like a shoe. You got it? I'm going to be over here with this piece, okay? <laughs> now we have a piece of rope that doesn't have an end to it. Can you see that? Okay? We're going to take the two ends of the rope back. You can watch us go back to one, two, three. We'll go back to a single piece of rope. Let's take off. You have the two ends of the rope. Let's see those, yeah? Get dressed in the morning, and as I would start to walk to school, I would get a knot developed in my stomach because I knew that's where I would start when I got to the school bus. I knew if I didn't have name brand shoes, a certain name brand jacket, a certain type of haircut, I was going to get laughed at. And I had this knot in my stomach. Here's what all the adults in this room want you to understand: if any of you are dealing with any issues, okay, you can talk to them, and they'll help you make your own knot disappear. Can you remember that for me? Hello, talk to me. All right, just to have tools. Here's what I want you to understand. All the adults in this room want you to understand that you all have tools. If you don't use these tools, none of these tools are gonna help you. These tools are in place. And one of the most valuable tools I didn't realize I had until I left school, I wanted to plant this seed now and sow this seed now so that way you all can think about this before you leave school. The best tools and the best resources you all have are sitting in these chairs which are adults. All of these adults and these teachers, faculty, principals, assistant principals, all of these tools are here to help you. Not only are they here to help you become better students, but they're also here to make you better people. None of these- I am Angela Parks. I'm the school counselor here at Wilson Elementary. And I just wanna say thank you to Mr. Dwayne Hill. He was amazing. Um, we have guidance lessons for first, second, and third grade um, every other week, and this is exactly what I've been talking to my kids about, is about bullies and not mattering what color skin, what color of uh, hair color, or if you're a male or female. Um, he reiterated everything that I have talked about, so thank you to him because um, the kids got a new perspective on bullying, and I really appreciate all I'm Nicole Sutanto from Holy Family, and I'm a third grade teacher, and the performance is absolutely fabulous. I have no idea how we did the tricks, and I just thought the whole thing was awesome, and the kids thoroughly enjoyed it, and we're happy to participate and be attentive. This is my first name. It's pronounced, it's pronounced Aziz. Now, my first day of school. My first day of school. This is where, you know, I was in kindergarten, they made fun of me. They call me Aziz of the disease, all right? A lot of times we become targets over things we don't have any control over, like our name. We don't have control over the fact of our name. We don't have control over the fact that some of us are tall, some of us are short, some of us wear glasses, right? Some, just because somebody's from another culture or a different background and you don't understand it, that's not a reason to make fun of someone. That's not a reason to pick on somebody. And here's what I want you to understand. Some of you, it might be very easy. You can go home. That person's going home. They don't have all that food in their refrigerator. They don't have parents with them telling them to clean their room. And you don't know that because, see, they're coming to school and they're cool. They're quiet. They're nice. They're smiling. They're trying to fit in. And you don't know what they're dealing with at home. You don't know how bad it is. The message Mr. Hill was putting out there to our young children was about bullying, about drugs, about the history, about what they need to do right in the world, what it takes to get ahead in the world, and he showed them where he was and where he is now, which was an inspiration to all the children at our school. I'm telling you that because I want you to think about the next time you're thinking about laughing at somebody, you're picking on somebody because they got glasses because they don't have a certain type of name brand shoes. You don't know what they're dealing with. If they don't want to go home because they don't like what's at home, they don't want to come to school because you're going to laugh at them or you're going to pick on them, what options do they feel like they really have? Exactly. 